Well, hello, coming Community Church. Pastor Thomas here. Uh, good to see you or talk to you, with you here on a Wednesday. Hope that you're having a good week thus far. A few things I want you to keep in mind is, of course, at 2 o'clock today, you should uh, have the information to join our prayer meeting uh, online. Uh, you can join, of course, through the app or through your computer or through your phone, however you like to do that. Uh, we'd love to have you join us for a time of prayer. Um, also, just a reminder that this weekend we will be continuing to uh, upload our services to Facebook and YouTube and uh, holding our services that way. Uh, be on the lookout for some more information later this week about our plan going forward for May. And then finally, uh, don't forget that we'll have Adult Bible Fellowship then on Sunday at 11 o'clock as well. So uh, those things to kind of keep you plugged in during this season. With all that out of the way, I do want us to go back to something that does not change, and that is the Word of God. So I want to read for us James chapter 1, 16 to 18, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about it. James chapter 1, verses 16 to 18. Do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Let's pray. Gracious God, I do thank you for what you're doing in our midst. We thank you that you are an unchanging God, one who is generous to his people. So would you help us to recognize your generousness today would you help us to see your love for us today? We thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So remember that James is writing to the 12 tribes of the dispersion. We saw that back in chapter 1. And because of that, we know that he's writing to a group who is undergoing uh, tribulation and uh, persecution in, in the part of, in, in the early days of the Roman Empire. Well, early days of Christianity in the Roman Empire, just to be clear. In all that, he's been talking about how you know, it is good to remain steadfast in times of trial and difficulty. And now he is drawing their attention away from their trials and tribulations and putting their eyes back on God. Notice what he says here. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived, brothers, but instead understand this. Every good thing in your life comes from God, comes from the Father of lights, who there is no variation, there's no change, no uh, shadow change, nothing, nothing changes about God. Isn't it a great comfort to know that even in this time of tremendous change and upheaval in our lives, that God is still God, and that God is is still working on our behalf and that God is never changing. What a tremendous blessing and encouragement that is, isn't it? And then he goes on to say that he brought us, now this is him talking to the 12 tribes, meaning the Christians. So I would say that we can take that and take it for ourselves as well as an application to be a, a first fruits of his creatures. In, in other words, what he is saying is that our faith should not end with us. Our faith should continue long beyond our time on earth. We should share and pass on. We are but the first of the Christians. Now, we certainly are not, but we are proof that they were. Because they shared with people, who shared with people, who shared with people, and so on down the line, until it got to you and to me. And then our job then is to share that same hope and that same faith with others so that they too can know Jesus. So here's my challenge and my encouragement. My encouragement for you today is this. Remember that God is unchanging. Remember that he alone is unchanging. And because he alone is unchanging, we can trust him and be confident in what he is doing. But then the second thing is this, is that we have a story to tell. We have a savior to celebrate. So my encouragement for you is to find ways to proclaim his goodness, much like we talked about in Sunday's message. My encouragement for you is to tell people about Jesus. 
So that's the encouragement and my challenge this week. Remember that God never changes, but we pray that people do. And the way people do is through us telling Jesus, telling them about Jesus. Well, I hope that you have a great Wednesday. Hope to see you at our prayer meeting. And uh, if I don't see you then, we'll see you back here on Friday and then, of course, on Sunday morning. Praying that you have a great day. God bless.